One of the common downsides or expected results of surgery is incontinence or leakage of urine. Most guys that undergo prostate removal will have some degree of leakage, especially early on after their catheter is removed. And that leakage can happen anywhere from a day to even up to a year, everyone is different. And the biggest thing that helps, there are some things that help improve that leakage, but the number one factor that improves leakage is really time. Your body with radical prostatectomy or removal of this prostate, your body loses two incontinence mechanisms. One is it loses this internal sphincter of the prostate, and then the prostate is removed. The only incontinence mechanism that is left is this external sphincter. And this is the muscle. This is the muscle that you squeeze when you wanna stop that flow of urine. So after surgery, again, this prostate is removed. This urethra is put back together with some sutures. And again, what keeps you dry is just this external sphincter. So the most important thing is time, giving yourself time to heal, allowing this area to heal, allowing your body to get used to this new anatomy that's there. So given time, most men's leakage improves. And so when you look at percentages, about 80% of men are dry, meaning no pads, at three months after prostate removal. About 90% will be dry at six months. And about 98% will be dry at 12 months. So as you can see, it takes time. In my practice, most men have a significant amount of leakage, certainly for the first six weeks. And again, with time, it gets better. So time is a factor. The other factor is Kegel exercises. So actually squeezing this muscle and activating the pelvic floor muscles is something that you can do to improve your leakage. Talk to your doctor and see if he wants you to start these exercises even before you have surgery. Because that's something, the stronger this muscle is, likely the better you're gonna do or the sooner you're going to become dry. So these are two big factors that affect your leakage. Most people are having leakage episodes early on. It gets better with time. Kegel exercises can and improve. Now, if you are in that 2% that has persistent leakage of urine, coughing, laughing, lifting, running, and urine is just spilling through here, numerous pads a day are required. If that's you, there are some things that can be done. One, there's medications. Two, there's injections. You can actually inject this area with collagen and bulk that area up that will help with stress leakage after surgery. So that's injections. There's a sling that can be placed to put pressure on the bulbar urethra, put pressure on the urethra to improve the uh, resistance of the urethra to help with leakage. And then the last thing is an artificial urinary sphincter, which is a inflatable device that fills with fluid and actually compresses the urethra to stop leakage from happening. So there are some things that can be done if you are in that 2% that has persistent and severe leakage after radical prostatectomy.